hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i just wanted to come on here and say hi um besides that i just wanted to show you the items that i picked up from target so if you're interested in seeing what i picked up at target please keep on watching so the first item that i picked up at target we're gonna start with the beauty products i did purchase some more sponge these sponges are my holy grail i love them these sponges are a holy grail in my makeup collections. I love them. They are um, very affordable. I think this pack of Total Face Sponge Duo Use Wet or Dry Elf sponges. For two of them, it was $7.99. So usually they're about $5 each. So I saved about $2. So that makes it about $4 each. And comparable to the Beauty Blender, which is $20 plus tax per sponge, this is an absolute steal. If you're a makeup artist, this does the trick and it's cheap and it doesn't burn through a lot of money. So I do recommend picking up a few of these if you're a makeup artist or even if you just enjoy doing your makeup every day. The next item, two items actually, they actually go hand in hand is the Glow Up Body Oil in Sunkist and the uh, e.l.f. Glow Up Body Brush, both e.l.f. products. They look like that. And then basically what this is, is it's to make you look like, your body look like it has a summer glow. And I'm using natural lighting, so this is exactly how it's going to look. So it just gives you that little bronzy look, that little shimmer look, that healthy glow within. I did pick these two up. I believe it was $10 each, if I'm not mistaken. The next thing by e.l.f. that I did pick up was this e.l.f. Antioxidant Booster Drops. These were on clearance for $5. It's just to put in your foundation to give you a little bit of extra hydration, which I think that's really good if you have, if you have drier skin or combination skin as well. So I definitely recommend picking up a few of those. I have tried the Fursali ones. They're pretty on the pricey side. I want to say they're maybe $45 to $50 each. So this is a great alternative. So if you want to go out and try that. Um, I did also pick up a Real Techniques uh, Miracle Sponge that can be used with foundation or BB cream. Um, I believe this one is limited edition. It's the Sugar Rush one. And I believe this one was $7.99. A little more expensive than the e.l.f. one, but I thought it was really cute. It has little fine specks of glitter. You can see it just a little I bit. I also picked up this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish. This one's in the color of Rose Bold. I personally do the dip powder on my nails, um, but the my toenails, I do like to use regular nail polish. It's just easier and more convenient to come off. Um, so moving on to the hair products, I did pick up some hair products. Um, some for my daughter, uh, who just turned one, as well as some for me. So I picked up these three, and I believe each of them were like $5.99 a piece. So I got these for me, which I did like because they have a lot of neutral colors. The little leopard one on the end, which is really cute. And then I got her these. She has a lot of hair. We did take one off and use it. <laughs> um, it was a, vel a little velvet one. But they are very good for the hair when they're a baby because it doesn't break it off the next item i got was the old Olay leave-in conditioner this hydrates your hair so good um my hair is wet right now but it is uh, a lighter blonde which is not not my natural color so it tends blondes do tend to look a little drier so just a little bit of this after you wash and condition your hair and your hair looks amazing healthy shiny fully hydrated which i'm looking for I also got this Pantene Pro-V Mist Behaving Dry Conditioner Mist. So this is really good for one of those days where you straighten your hair or your hair is curly um, and you just need a little refresher, a little hydration look because it can, again, blondes can tend to look a little bit dry. It can work for brown hair as well. But basically you just spray it on the ends, fluff it up a little bit, and then it makes it look like it's very hydrate, hydrated. And I did try this on my older daughter and it did a really, really good job and it smells amazing. I definitely recommend that product. The next three products I did pick up were from the brand The Good Stuff, which I really liked this one. These are vegan um, and they don't have dyes or paraben and it's from a completely recycled, 100% recycled bottle, 
Oh, so I do like this brand. Um, so the first one that is like my go-to that I love and I already dipped into it and this is like my second one is the Curl Hydration Butter, good for curly and coily hair. And the bottle looks just like this. And I want to say each of them were $7.99 if I'm not mistaken. Um, may go up to $10.99. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that price. <laughs> The next one is the Intensive Nourishment Cream, good for dry and dull hair. So I picked up that one, and I do use these hand in hand. So I'll mix a little bit of the first one, a little bit of this one, and a little bit of the next one to get my perf perfect, perfect hydration. So my curls don't look frizzy. It does take out the frizz, so I do like that. Um, and then this one is the Complete Repair Balm, and this is for damaged hair. Again, my hair is not naturally blonde. I bleach it blonde. So this actually helps in between getting my, uh, my bleaching done. So it doesn't leave my hair damaged, brittle, and doesn't cause it to break off. The last one that I got from this brand is the Curly Define Gel. This one's good for wavy or curly hair. And basically, I take a dab of each um, and just mix it in my hand and then I'll just run it through my hair, scrunch it up a little bit with a towel to make it a little bit drier and then leave for the day and my hair looks healthy and hydrated all day long, looks nice and curly makeup on because I will be doing my makeup for my daughter's first birthday party later on today. So excited for that. Um, so a next one to mention this hello naturally friendly. This one is never tested on animals, no peroxides, no dye, no sweeteners, no sulfates. Um, and it's the activated charcoal, fresh mint and coconut oil toothpaste. I've been hearing a lot of raves about the charcoal toothpaste and how they make your teeth white. And I'm always into getting my teeth whiter right now. I do use the crest 3d white. I have seen improvement um, with the coloration in my teeth. I am a coffee drinker, so sometimes it tends to stain your teeth. And I do realize that the Crest 3D White does remove those stains. So I'm really hoping that this makes them even whiter. The next couple of items are for the skin. I do suffer from eczema. Uh, my hands get very dry. Um, sometimes they get very itchy. So I did want to try this Aveeno Eczema Therapy Daily Moisturizing Cream, which I heard all great things about it. If you are an eczema sufferer, you know that your eczema can actually crack, cause cuts, and bleed. So for that, I did pick up this new crack skin relief. Um, I think you say it, cacao Bomb, and it helps relieve dry, cracked skin. So I did pick up some of this to help barrier for when I'm washing my hands because I do wash my hands and hand sanitize a lot. So that could be contributing to my dry skin and my eczema breaking out. So um, I heard really good things about these two products. So I'm very excited and hopefully it does help. I will. Next, we're going to move on to the body wash. I have been on a body wash binge. I love body wash. I wash with a bar of soap, then a body wash to make sure you smell nice and good afterwards. So my ultimate favorite is the Dove Renewing Peony and Rose Oil Body Wash. Oh my God. I love this body wash so much. It smells so good. Anything to me with peony smells really really good so i did pick up the large one of these these again don't have no sulfate no parabens they're cruelty free so i do recommend this one because i have tried this one and then i did see these which um it's the method body uh body washes one has peony rose oil pink sea salt which is this one smells amazing the next one has Chamomile, Starflower, and Blue Lavender. This is more of an evening one if you want to relax, wind down, calm your body down. And this one looks like this. This one as well does smell amazing. Um, but yeah, so I did like this one. These are also cruelty-free. Um, and the bottles are recycled bottles. So I do recommend going out and grabbing these. Um, I do know that the method brand does have cleaning products that i use i love them because they're all natural um they don't leave a heavy scent behind which i like um, and they get the job done they're really really good so if you want to check out the method cleaning products as well i do recommend you going ahead and checking that out as well 
And then last but not least, I did pick up some protein bars and snacks for uh, if I want a, a snack or I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthier. So if you want a snack after a workout or a snack after dinner, I picked up these Quest protein cookies in chocolate chip. It's four net carbs per cookie. It comes four to a pack and these were $7.99 a box. And then I got, again, the uh, the brownie protein, which has 20 grams of protein and four net carbs as well. It's sugar alcohol. It's not actually fully sugar. So uh, I have tried these before and I did like them. Good alternative to brownie. Of course, it's not going to taste like a regular brownie because it doesn't have the real sugar that a brownie has. But I mean, it does the trick if you're ever craving chocolate. So I do recommend this brand Quest as well as their um, little snacks because they do help curb craving cravings without having the added sugars and carbs that a normal cookie or brownie would have so that is all I got in my haul comment down below what you liked in this haul as well as what you want to see next I think next I'm going to throw out a Sephora haul or Ulta haul because I've been really um, getting into skincare and getting my skin up to normal right now i don't really have much makeup on i just threw on a cc cream just to film this video and i am doing it in natural light you can see the difference between my my skin as well but um so if you would like to see more videos please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time